Morning, everybody. I'm Bill Kalina. I'm the executive director here at the Morris Arboretum. And I wanted to talk today about a subject we get a lot of calls on this time of year, and that is how to find and remove spotted lanternfly eggs. Now, as you know, lanternflies are a pest that's recently been introduced into Pennsylvania. They do a lot of damage. They're a sucking insect, so they suck the sap out of trees during the growing season. But they overwinter in egg masses laid on the branches of the trees. Behind me is a Styrax japonicus, a Japanese snowbell, which is one of the trees that we found here at the Arboretum, at least, they really favor for egg laying. So there's a lot of egg masses on there. They're also easy to reach because it's not a big tree. Now, there are a lot of other species that they'll lay eggs on, but hopefully this video will show you how to spot and remove the eggs before they can hatch out and start causing harm. So here I've selected a branch to show you the difference between the lichens and the lanternfly eggs. So notice that the top of the branch is covered in those bluish gray and green patches. Those are the lichens growing where they're getting sun. And underneath those cement colored patches are the lanternfly eggs hiding under the branch where they're a little bit more protected from the rain. If I pan over, you can see a little bit more clearly of those lanternfly egg masses. I like little bumps that are about, I would say, an inch or so long, half an inch wide on average. Now here's a close-up of the lanternfly egg masses. You can see they look a little bit like somebody took cement, wet cement and just plastered it on the tree. They're usually on the underside of horizontal branches, basically to stay out of the rain. Uh, and this is obviously a mass of several of those. So what I've done is I've got this sharpened stick, basically just a, a twig that I cut into a point. I like to use this rather than anything metal because obviously I don't want to damage the tree. And you can see if you just scrape, they come right off. Now, I'm not collecting the eggs. I'm trying to smoosh them a little bit as I go, but I figure that they're falling down on the ground and ants and other insects will find them and, and collect them and uh, eat them before they have a chance to hatch. Okay, so here's just an extreme close-up of one of the egg masses, so you can see it a little bit better. Notice the color again, and if you look carefully, you can see it has a sort of a cracked, dried mud appearance as the material is laid down wet and dried. And finally here, I have scraped off that outer cement-like coating just to show you what the eggs themselves look like underneath. They uh, are just rows of little eggs lined up underneath there. 